exclusive interview with foreign correspondent Sarah Williamson, she spoke with former Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko. Thank you very much indeed for being here in Kiev, oh. because I doubt that everybody understands that this is just 10 kilometers to the Russian tank, and uh, Kiev now is in the very big danger, same as Ukraine, the same as Europe, and the same as world. And delivering from here the objective information, it is extremely important mission to counteract with a push Putin fake news campaign. So again, thank you for being here with us. Let's actually first talk about that, about how important it is to have uh, reporters here on the ground to witness the destruction and what is actually happening to the civilians here because uh, Russia turned around and said that they were only targeting military targets here but like we saw in Mariupol just only a few days ago on that hospital and you know 200 schools 63 hospitals across the country this is an attack on civilians as well you have an opportunity to see how united is the nation how united is the people and Putin expected that the people of Ukraine will met him with the flowers and instead of that we met him with a Molotov cocktail which we called Bandera smoothies and delivering the objective information is a counteract to Putin because the second position was exactly as you said we don't touch civilians we don't touch civilian object we don't touch hospital schools and everything but on contrary now I don't see any person in Ukraine who do not have friend relatives or somebody who were killed or wounded uh, who were not killed or wounded and with this situation you as an objective source of the information deliver you the truth how deep is the humanitarian crisis how deep is the danger for the world because we are here in Ukraine are fighting not only for Ukrainian soil not only for our people or for our children and future we here fighting for the freedom and democracy we fighting for Europe we fighting for the whole world because Putin attacked not Ukraine Putin attacked the free West countries and with that situation nobody knows if he if uh, he uh, grab Ukraine if he think that he is a winner in Ukraine nobody knows who would be the next and where tomorrow Russian soldiers appeared well let's actually talk a little bit more about the Ukrainian soldiers because I don't think Putin came into this war expecting to be met with the force that he had. And the Ukrainian military and the territorial defense has really shocked the entire world. And the heroism of the Ukrainian forces has really uh, been incredibly impressive to the, the way that they have handled this uh, what do you, what's what do you have to say to that first of all uh, you are absolutely right but first who was shocked by Putin himself all the Russian general because I'm absolutely confident that if Putin can imagine that Ukrainian uh, uh, answer would be so strong I doubt that he make a decision to attack us and uh, this is another thing that the whole nation is against they don't find any one single person who can welcome the Putin or who can say that Putin is right point number three that uh, yes a lot of Ukrainian children and women uh, is a refugee goes to the West or even abroad but the men's mostly 90% return back enlisted to the territorial defense unit enlisted to the armed forces of Ukraine and fighting I just want to tell you that it was me who proposed to the Zelensky give the weapons to the old population of Kiev and now now dozens of thousands of the automatic rifles are on the uh, under the bed of the Kievites ready to met uh, Russian invader but also here just 10 10 12 kilometers from uh, here in uh, the Bucha in Irpin in they are completely erased and the people the hundreds of people are killed and people have in a disastrous condition we have now uh, minus 5 or minus 10
understand, but people have no electricity, mm. no heating, no water, and they even melted the snow to have uh, 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 water. Have water yeah. And uh, I don't know how how we can melt it, the snow of the soul of some politician who suspend the assistance of uh, Ukraine with the defensive weapon, with the military jet, with the anti-tank weapon or anti-aircraft weapon. This is completely unacceptable again because the more effective we're fighting for the West, the weaker Putin would be. The weaker Putin would be, this is much more easier to reach the compromise. And every single day we need to have more sanction. I'm very much grateful for the all Western nation for presenting the sanction. I'm admired with the leadership of the President Biden, his administration, Congress, for this decisive step. But please, don't stop. Let's, let's talk more about that, actually, about the West and what they have done for Ukraine so far, because NATO has actually been quite reluctant to send fighter jets up and take, over, take up that offer from Poland. Now, um, that's because of the fears of the retaliation that they might receive from Russia. What is your response to that? Three advice. Point number one. Don't trust Putin. Putin understands only strength and unity. And Putin go as far as we together allow them to go. Point number two, please don't be afraid of Putin. Ukraine are not afraid of Putin and we stop them. The same way like me, stop Putin and release two thirds of the occupied Donbass in year 2014, 2015. We demonstrate that we can beat Putin. And please be shoulder to shoulder with us. This is the way how we can uh, act. And point number three, please don't use the bureaucratic machine to postpone or to delay jet fly supply, anti-aircraft supply, anti-tank supply, uh, ammunition supply. We need it now. And every single hour postponed, Ukraine pay for that with the Ukrainian blood and with the life of Ukrainian civilians. Please don't ally, uh, uh, allow to do that. And uh, it is a call for leadership. United States President Joe Biden, I know him very well and he is know very well situation in Ukraine. He demonstrating the leadership. NATO leaders should demonstrate the leadership. We should demonstrate how strong we are. No, and with that situation, definitely, Putin will go for negotiation, Putin will accept the compromise, Putin will take, Mr. Putin, please take out your troops from Ukrainian soil. In Ukrainian, it's called much stronger words, but I would be a little bit diplomatic. Get out of here.